killed on the day of her graduation. And now, 30 years later, there are renewed calls for help in solving a teenager's murder mystery. Narita Melendez's family says even after all these years, their search for her killer has never ended. WBZ's Anaritas Rodriguez has the story tonight from Worcester. And so the night before, yeah, she called. She, gets, she goes, hey, guys, you know, uh, come over. We want to yeah. do, you know, make cookies. Peter Vasquez says that was the last time he spoke with his little sister. 30 years ago, the night before her high school graduation. And I'm, you know, was again looking for our sister. Maybe, you know, she just showed up there. She wasn't, she didn't show up. And that was unlike the 17 year old, known to her family as Nettie. Seen here in her senior picture, a bright eyed Nereida Melendez had plans for her future. She was going to graduate, she was going to go to college, she was going to go into business. But her life was tragically cut short when she was killed on the day of her graduation, June 5th, 1989. She was last seen that morning, dropping off a van at her job. One of the reports said that someone was supposed to pick her up. Melendez's pocketbook was found by a dog walker here on Bell Hill around the same time her family had reported her missing to police. By the next morning, it was her brother who found her body here in this wooded area under a pile of leaves. We see shoes. We don't know if, you know, so we go up to her and at that point remove the leaves and we notice it was her. Decades later, newspaper clippings of the murder are the only paper trail the family has. Police did tell them DNA was recovered, but nothing has come of the evidence. In a statement, Worcester police say the case remains a high priority and new technologies are continuously being applied. On this anniversary, the family is still holding out hope. We're going to be her voice and we're going to bring it out to the open and make sure that people are out there listening and know that this is not going to go unsolved. This is going to be solved. Reporting in Worcester, I'm Anna Rodriguez, WBZ News.